For the first time in a generation, political change is on the cards in Montenegro. Sunday's tight parliamentary election could lead to a coalition of opposition parties gaining power. And as Neil O'Reilly now reports, that could lead the small Balkan country to turn towards Russia and Serbia as opposed to the EU. Montenegro stands at a crossroads after an election that looks set to end 30 years of dominance by the pro-EU Democratic Party of Socialists. They won more votes than any single party, but a pro-Serb, pro-Russian coalition is poised to form the next government. Despite the tension and uncertainty, the country appears calm. The results are good for Montenegro, that there is a peace and that the situation is resolved and there is reconciliation, because we were on the edge of conflict. I feel more free, better after 30 years. The most important thing is that all people will have equal rights in this country and that nobody should be afraid and that the government should change. The regime has fallen, opposition leader Zdravko Krivokopic said, as he proclaimed victory on Sunday night. He now faces the challenge of completing a pact with other parties to build a viable government. President Djukanovic's socialists took the country into NATO and closer to EU membership. It's unclear if the next administration will be so keenly pro-Western. Neil Riley, Euronews.